Hey Lakeview, Pastor Christian here. Um, I'm just going to be leading us in a time of prayer today and reflection upon our week and, and what God has in store for us in the future. Um, so bear with me. I'm actually on a quick walk around our church right now and just reflecting on God's creation and the beauty that God has, has bestowed upon us here at Lakeview. I mean, he's given us a beautiful facility. He's given us beautiful people. He's given us a beautiful mission. And uh, I think just walking around our facility really puts in perspective how much we have because of what God has given us. And that also puts a great responsibility on us as well as we seek for his will during this time. Um, so as we get started, I just wanted to point out a few uh, prayer requests that we may want to focus on today. Uh, one of which is the passing of James LaPetri. Um, he was such a great man. We had a celebration of life service for him uh, fairly recently, um, and there will be funeral arrangements made due to his recent passing. Um, another one is just Jarvis Carter. Uh, he's got some health situations going on, and we've been praying for him off and on. He's, he's at home, but he still has to have some pretty big procedures done. Um, I know there's a lot of other prayer concerns out there right now, but we just want to just lift those people up in prayer. And while you're in your home or at work or wherever you're watching this and joining in with us, just lift those people up in prayer um, as we go before the Lord here in just a few moments. Uh, just going to take some time if you want to in the chat bar. Share some of those people or those concerns that you may have right now. And as we go before the Lord in prayer, uh, just lift those people up. The birds are joining us today. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them or not, but they're... <laughs> Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have given us. Just looking around at the beautiful fields, looking around at the creation that you have created so intentionally, Lord. You have blessed us in so many ways. You have blessed us with land. You have blessed us with equipment. You have blessed us with a facility. And you have blessed us with a mission that we get to be a part of, Lord. And as we go about our days, Lord, let us not forget the job that you have for us, and that is to love you and love other people, Lord. And in saying that, Lord, we just lift up a few of those people in our uh, direct congregation who are struggling or have health needs. Lord, we just ask that you would bring health and healing and, and comfort and peace to those people struggling right now. Also, God, we just pray that you would continue to be with the vision team who is going through uh, this time seeking after your will for our church lord we pray that everybody who's involved in this vision process would be seeking after you and you alone and that's it god we ask for your favor in this time and it's in your son Jesus' holy name that we pray amen so i did want to share a uh, scripture with you here in just a moment i'm going to find a, a place to squat down but um about a year ago our church went through a uh, really cool time where we walked around the church. We did a bit of a prayer walk, and that's what brings me outside today, aside from just reflecting on the beauty. But we have this beautiful facility out here, and we felt God was calling us to just walk around it, much in the same way that in the book of Joshua chapter 6, um, these people were asked to walk around this wall because ultimately God had already given them this city but these people they had to respond to that god had already offered them their salvation in a sense with this win this victory of this battle but they still had to get up they still had to go out there and they still had to take up the mantle that they had been given in much the same way pastor jared just talked to us about this on sunday god freely offers us this gift this responsibility of sanctification. He gives us this new self and he gives us a way to accept that new self. But at the same time, we can't take that gift 
without further offering it to other people as well. Um, so I'm just out here by the cornfields, kind of by the, the softball field right now. And I'm going to read to you just that passage of scripture from Joshua chapter 6. I'm going to sit down as well. Just took a really long walk. So we're in Joshua chapter 6, just uh, starting at verse 1. And we're going to read briefly through this and, and hear what God has to say to us during this passage. This is, again, Joshua chapter 6. Now Jericho was shut up inside and outside because of the people of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand with its king and mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city, all the men of war going around the city once. Thus shall you do for six days. Seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. On the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. And when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat. And the people shall go up, every one straight before him. So Joshua the son of Nun called to the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Ark of the Lord. And he said to the people, Go forward, march around the city, and let the armed men pass on before the Ark of the Lord. And just as Joshua had commanded the people, the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Lord went forward, blowing the trumpets with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord following them. The armed men were walking before the police, the priests who were blowing the trumpets, and the rear guard was walking after the ark, while the trumpets blew continually. But Joshua commanded the people, You shall not shout or make your voice heard, neither shall any word go out of your mouth until the day I tell you to shout. Then you shall shout. So he caused the ark of the Lord to circle the city, going about at once, and they came into the camp and spent the night in the camp. So the story does not end there, but I'm going to just paraphrase this last quick portion of it and get back to my walk around our church. Basically, they do exactly as the Lord had asked of them. They walked around this, uh, this city of Jericho, this wall of Jericho. You may remember and reflect on the song. It's a kid's song that I remember from, from Sunday school way back in the day. Um, Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Josh fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came a tumbling down. And that's such a weird, such a weird song because they didn't really fight a battle, did they? No, no, no. They they walked around this, they walked around this wall, wondering what in the world? Why are we doing this? What is the purpose of this? And, and in that passage, it doesn't say that they questioned it. Rather, they just obeyed. They had this plan that was given to them by God through Joshua, and they obeyed and they went. And ultimately, they were victorious. Of course, there was probably some grumbling like, man, we've gone around this place for seven days in a row. Nothing's happened. No stone has fallen. Nothing. Yet they obeyed, and on the seventh day, the walls came tumbling down. Thinking on the process and the uh, things going on at Lakeview right now and in our community, we have these battles that we're fighting, and specifically uh, at Lakeview right now, we're fighting to find out what God's vision is for our church and what's coming up next in the life of Lakeview Church. It's exciting, it's wonderful. Um, but right now, it kind of just feels like we're walking around a wall. Maybe we have those moments and those days when we're shouting like, yes, we're so excited, we know something's coming, we know the victory is in the Lord, but it feels like we're just waiting. We're, we're walking along, we're waiting. Maybe we're obeying, but we don't see any results yet. And uh, this brings us to our main prayer focus for tonight. Um, Pastor Chris challenged all of us a few weeks back um, with his uh, Finding God's Purpose uh, sermon series to pray for three different things. And that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to pray for these three different things, uh, keeping in mind this walk that we are on together. So those three things that we're praying for tonight are one, unity, 
because we've all, we're all in this together. We're, we're walking around this wall together, finding God's purpose together. We're looking for unity, and that's actually the second point. The first one is vision, of course. And in the, the story of the, the wall of Jericho, these people, they received this vision from, Jacob, or from Joshua, who got it from God. So we're seeking God's vision. We're seeking unity together because we're not going to take down the, these walls without unity. And at the same time, courage. We need courage. If you look back in that story, it said they had the armed men. They have the, they're facing the men of valor in Jericho. There's all these scary things. And in Lakeview's life, there's a lot of scary things that may come up. And we have to be ready and courageous to, to do those things. And we also have to do them together. So let's go into this time of prayer. We're going to pray for vision. We're going to pray for unity. And we're going to pray for courage. So if you would, just bow your head with me. And uh, I'm making my way around the back half of the building right now. We'll see how long it takes me to get to the other side. I'm a little bit out of shape. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bow before the Lord. Let's ask for vision. Let's ask for unity. And let's ask for courage. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for what you're doing here at Lakeview Wesleyan Church. We know that you have a plan, and in fact, we know that you've already delivered that plan and that purpose and that victory. But Lord, may we take up that vision and put it to work. May we take that vision that you are continually giving us and put it to work. Would you please just make it so abundantly clear what you're trying to do here through Lakeview in the community of Marion, in Grant County, in Indiana, and across the globe, Lord. You know, we know that your vision isn't just limited to the walls of our church. No, it goes out and it goes about. It goes around us, it goes with us, it goes through us, Lord. And you have this vision, you have this plan, Lord. Let us hear that plan. We want it so bad, we seek after it so bad, Lord. Make it so abundantly clear that you have a plan. And make that plan so clear, Lord. Make that vision so clear so that we can together do this work that you have for us, Lord. And that's the second thing I'm asking, Lord, that we would all be unified in this, that there would be no selfish desires as we seek your vision, that there would be no hint, no hint of greed or sinfulness. And we ask, Lord, that you would cast out all evil during this process, that you would take those distractions away from us so that we can be focused on you together so that we can be focused on the goal in mind and that together we can sharpen one another and that we can join one another for your victory that you've already given us. May each and every single one of us take this plan, this vision, this victory and put it to work together. Lord, it is without, it is not without the rest of the body of Christ that we can fulfill your purposes together in this community, in our church. Lord, we ask so much so for unity unity in your spirit because when we are all unified seeking after your vision and unified that is when your spirit can do so much more let us not limit you by selfish desires and selfish deeds let it all be one in one accord lord we love you so much and lord thirdly we ask for courage we ask that you would never Make us feel afraid. We know you won't do that, Lord, but there will be scary situations and, and scary times and uncomfortable things coming up as we're walking this wall together. We may see on the other side of the wall the men of valor or the challenges that we have to face. We may see things that we don't want to give up. We may see programming that doesn't happen the way that we think it should. But Lord, ultimately, we need to have the courage and we ask that you would give that to us to step out on a limb and follow your vision together. Maybe there's people in our lives or in this church who make us uncomfortable, Lord, or maybe we have some beef with. Let us face those situations with courage so that we can be unified in this time. Lord, let us be courageous in our creativity as well. During these times of focus groups, May we have the courage to say things that maybe somebody else might not say or that seem so off the wall, Lord. May we be so centered on you that nothing scares us. Lord, you overcome, you do the impossible, and there's nothing 
that we need to be afraid of right now. We just ask for courage, Lord. We ask for courage and we ask for unity and we ask ultimately for your vision, Lord. We seek after you. We seek after you, Lord. And together the whole church said, Amen. Well, Lakeview, thank you so much for joining me this evening. It's actually about uh, 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but the weather was just too good for me to, to wait until tonight to join with you. So uh, as you're joining with me this evening, um, don't stop praying for, for vision, for unity, and for courage, because that's really what we need in this time. There are so many exciting things up ahead. Um, we just have an awesome, awesome God with an awesome, awesome plan, and we just cannot forget that. We cannot be caught up in our own minds right now. We have to see the vision that God has, and we have to just go after it. And that is what our prayer is. Vision, unity, and courage. Just want to say a big thank you to Pastor Chris right now for spearheading this vision process. It is an exciting and a scary time. Um, so keep on praying for your pastor, Pastor Chris Williams, and his wife, Marita, and for his children as they're, uh, you know, they're partnering along with us as well in this process. They're supporting Pastor Chris during this time. Um, and also be praying for the vision team, the group of people who's going to be taking all of this input from the vision groups, um, putting it together, and seeking after the Lord along with all of us. And just continue to pray for your pastors, uh, Pastor Jared, Pastor Jessica, uh, Kayla Webb, our children's director, and me as well. Um, pray for your board, who is also partnering with you to uh, seek God's vision. This is just such a crucial time for us. And look at this. this. This is Lakeview right here, but it doesn't stop here. God's vision goes so far beyond this building that we can hardly comprehend. God's got a plan for us, and we are so excited to seek after that vision, to seek unity together as one body, and to have courage through it all. So Lakeview, again, keep praying, keep seeking after the vision, and if you haven't yet, sign up for a focus group. You can go to our church website, lakeviewwestland.org, and there should be a link there on the homepage to sign up for a focus group. And you can also sign up for small groups. There should be a link on the um, website that has some more information about small groups. So we would love for you to join a small group. Um, spread the word. Keep on praying. And uh, see you guys later. Love all of you so much. Again, praise God for this day. Praise God for the vision he's got for us. See you later, guys.